And that concludes our new business. We will now open the floor for council reports. Uh, Councilman Howard. Again, thank y'all. Boy Scouts, you're learning a bunch? Good. <laughs> you're ready for it to be over, right? Um, I want to take this opportunity just to, to make a statement. One year ago, I stood at this podium, took the office, and became a member of the Snowville City Council. My sincerest thanks for allowing me the opportunity to serve you, the people of Snowville. And at this, I guess at this point, I start getting a little ribbon because of my pictures up here. Picture I've got there is that yesterday I attended the Veterans Day ceremony at the Fallen Heroes Memorial at the Justice and Administration Center, along with Chairman Charlotte Nash, Congressman Rob Woodall, and Commissioner Lynette Howard. We honored the veterans. The reason I stand here tonight in this free country is because of the brave and selfless acts of the men and women who serve and have served in our armed forces. I thank you and I thank your families as well. As I begin my second year as a council member, I would like to reflect on the past 12 months. The word proud only begins to describe how I feel about representing our city. I have fought many battles to preserve the integrity of this office. And the best way I know how to serve the best interests of our city is to continue to fight for them. Heroic men and women who have fought and died to protect my right to speak, and I will honor their sacrifices, and I will continue to speak. Regardless of how many times others try to silence me with the bellowing of, you're out of order, the idea that the right to free speech is routinely shut down, and there is a very large concern for me that it will continue to be looked at. I made a promise to each of you that my council comments would always be positive. I will be positive. I am positive that the men and women who volunteer for this city are the very best. And I stand here and applaud each of you for your dedicated service to our citizens and our city. I am positive that Snellville is a proud city. I am positive that we have many jewels in our city. Eastside Medical Center, Briscoe Park, the Farmer's Market, STAT, the New Community Garden, our schools, our Public Safety Department, just to name a few. I am positive that if you look here first, you will find what you're looking for. Companies and residents are looking at Snellville first. That makes me proud also. On a personal note, when I speak of home, I speak of Snellville. I have lived here longer than I have lived anywhere, and if I ever left, I would come back home to Snellville. The future does look bright in Snellville, and I encourage everyone to promote and talk up our city and be an active part of it. You'll be very glad you did. I would like to extend my sincere thanks to the staff of our city for your help as I found my way through my first year. I still continue to learn and to grow, and the process continues. I would like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues as well. I am so very proud of their many accomplishments. Mayor Pro Tem Tom Witz for your leadership and foresight to bring the mobile stage to Snellville and to relight the eternal flame for our veterans. Councilwoman Diane Krause for your unwavering dedication to making Snellville a safer community with Code Red and the emergency preparedness for all of our citizens. Councilman Dave Emanuel for your Give the Hunger the Boot campaign, and for your willingness to teach me when I need to be taught. Councilman Mike Sabah for Flag Day. I also want to thank all of the folks who showed what the community of Snellville is all about, the Amy Copeland story. We can all take something away from this experience. I know I did. Our city has much to be proud of, as you can see. So I look forward to my second year as a member of this Snellville City Council with the same enthusiasm and excitement as my first year as we work to make the city the best it can be. Thank you all and drive safe going home.
Mayor Pro Tem Woods. Thank you, Mayor. Um, something happened this evening that I can't let uh, go without making a remark. We had 11 people that were brought for us this evening for uh, positions on the boards. Only two were identified as African American. I do not know what that reference meant and why we didn't hear nine times these are Caucasians. I don't know what the innuendo was, to, was meant to be or um, why that was even brought up. I will tell you this, from my own feelings, Mr. Poles, I don't know what nationality, race, or anything that Mr. Poles is. What I do know is that we do not have an application on Mr. Poles on file with the city in order for me to look at that before I make a vote. And I don't do that. I don't hire people in my company without having an application. I'm certainly not appointing people here to the city. The mayor was made aware of that two weeks ago, that I would not vote for anyone without an application. That's simply it. I'm sure that Mr. Poles is absolutely acceptable, but I'd like to have an application to check that out myself. Secondly, Mr. Dawkins, the city of Snellville has not had voting representation on the Evermore CID for over one year. The reason we haven't had that is that we have not had a nomination in one year. Mr. Dawkins is the first person that was brought in as a applicant or made as a nomination. Now, I have two problems with that. Number one, we have gone one year without representation and I, when we had a meeting with the CID, my biggest problem with them extending into the city was the fact that we don't have a, any representation. We have 180 businesses in our city that belong to the CID. We do not have one vote on that board. So why would we bring an Atlanta attorney who lives almost in DeKalb County to represent the city business owners on the CID. That makes absolutely no sense to me. I know of at least two people on that corridor, and by the way, one's a minority, who would be glad to serve on that board. Now, I can't mention their name because that, was, that would give them a death sentence. However, I suggest that the mayor take the time and make the effort to talk to the people that are on the corridor in the CID and find someone from that area that would represent them represent the, them and us. And what, what, while I'm at it, one more thing. <clears throat> I'd like to apologize to any organization that has requested that the mayor and council appear for something and that the council, the entire council did not show up. It's come to my uh, attention that in at least seven cases, there is email sent to the city to have the mayor and council appear at an event, and only two people from this council were at the event. I want you to know that if I hear of an event in this city, one of two things will happen. Either I will call you and notify you why I can't be there, or I'll be there. But you'll never have to wonder where I am. Two organizations are called and asked why I wouldn't, why I wouldn't and didn't show up to a certain event. And it was quite simple. I was never notified. And one thing that ran in common was who was notified. So again, uh, if, I, if there's anyone out there, please know. I will never just not show up. You'll either hear that I'm not coming or I will be there. On November 3rd, on the, that's all that. I had better note. On November 3rd, we had, a, um, we had a safety fair out here on the green. And unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of attendance. It was an excellent program. I mean, um, I, it had my, I must have taken 70 pictures of it. It was very, very, very touching. Well, it was not touching, it was, it was scary. 
The same organization that put that on donated some money to have a gentleman make a PS uh, public service uh, public service announcement. And um, it takes, it's only about two minutes and 31 seconds long. And if you don't mind, I'd just like to you to see this. It's, I think you'll be impressed. Mayor Pro Tem, let's wait. If it is for a certain driving organization, we can't publicize. Um... This is not. While we're waiting, in the lobby is our new copy of the Snowball Spirit magazine. They're right by the door. Those of you who do not get it in the mail, please pick one up on your way out. A lot of stuff in there for the holidays, including schedules and stuff. So make sure you, make sure you get that. Here we go. I came here to apologize, even though I know that's not going to fix anything. All I ever think about now is the shattered lives I've caused. I keep replaying that moment almost every waking thought. The way your mom looked at me after taking her precious son. I knew better not to text while driving, for the most part. I didn't. I, I assumed since I was only in my subdivision with no other cars around, it was safe. I thought that making good grades, going to church, and staying away from alcohol would be enough to make me a good person. But now I can't even look at myself. And I may be a good person, but my selfishness was enough to destroy your family. If I only didn't assume it would happen to me, and waited until I got home to pick up my phone, we would both have a future. It's time to go. that all the students that were here earlier uh, could be here to have, to have seen that. I think that's uh, pretty powerful. And that um, November 3rd demonstration was quite powerful too. And lastly, um, I had the pleasure the last two days of being surrounded by fellow veterans and um, spending time with them, talking with them. Um, I'm humbled by the number of of veterans that are in our area, their dedication and loyalty to our area, the excitement that they have over having a new memorial in the city. Um, it's been a humbling two days. I thank all of them out there that, that uh, made me feel good and um, thank you all for being here tonight. Councilwoman Krause. I just want to uh, say thank you to the Public Works staff for the wonderful decorations and bringing snowflakes throughout the city. I won't be here for the Christmas tree lighting, but I know that the city will be beautiful, and I just want them to know how much I appreciate the work that they do. Thank you. Councilman Emanuel. <clears throat> Those are two tough acts to follow, a movie and a picture. Uh, I don't have either, 
I'd like to thank everybody for coming. I'd like everybody to take the texting video you just saw to heart. It doesn't be and doesn't restrict it to teenagers or young drivers. It pertains to everybody. And consider that next time you pick up your phone while you're driving, put it down and concentrate on your driving. Have a safe ride home. Councilman Zabog. I agree with Councilman Emanuel. That's a pretty tough act to follow. <clears throat> However, I'd like to begin with uh, this statement, and I read it somewhere, and I don't know who spoke it, but it said, freedom is not free. Freedom is not free. And that really touched me uh, quite a bit. Um, these uh, brave young and, uh, men and women have uh, placed their lives on the line defending us, this great nation. I, I salute them all. I know we have a few of them here in this room with us. Uh, our own Snell, Snellvillian, Sergeant uh, Justin Lansford. I think there was a parade last week. I had missed one. I tried to be at that parade as best I could. This young man was critically injured in April by a roadside bomb in Afghanistan. So he doesn't have at least one leg. Um, great thanks to our own City Council Member Mayor Pro Tem Tom Witts for his service in the in the Navy. Mr. De Mr. Dexter uh, Harrison sitting back there. He also spent time in the in the Navy. Uh, I believe, Mr. Ewing, you've served us this country too. Thank you, sir, for your service. Appreciate it. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Bill Sabag, this is my first cousin. He has been incredibly active for many, many years. Um, I'm proud of you, Bill, if you're watching this over video. Uh, you great accomplishments to this country. He served many tours, including the hotbed war theater in Iraq. He speaks several languages, and I think his services were absolutely well needed there. And I uh, saw him last week. He looked really great, really well, and I give him a big hug and tell him, sir, I really salute you. Thank you for your service. My young cousin, the guy I used to carry on my shoulders, right now much taller, much bigger than I am, Lieutenant Colonel Sabag. Um, on the last note, I'd like to thank the GNLI, that's the Gwinnett Neighborhood Leadership Institute, for their invite as I share time on their panel at the Philadelphia College of Osteopathy which is PCOM in um, Swanee. I had a great time with them. The information was abundance. I appreciate their willingness for me to share my thoughts uh, during that panel. Uh, have a safe time. Have a great holidays. And, and anything I can do for you guys, don't hesitate to call me. I'd love to hear from you personally. Thank you. And that concludes our council reports. Now for our mayor's report.